what can any human being be truly sure of? Well, this, uh, this certainty can be of the mind, where the head, logical certainty, you know, this is obvious certainties, which are totally uninteresting, because they're more like repeating themselves. A is A, two and two is four, and all that. But there's another kind of certainty of the, of the being, uh, and there are different uh, <coughs> different sources of understanding in our in our psyche. You know, we're not in touch with them all. So from that point of view, nobody really no understands. I think Socrates was had that. He said, people said he was the wisest man in Athens, and he said, I. That can't be right. I don't really understand anything. And he made it, he, he, it's really, he made a distinction, really. I, he does said he didn't understand everything. He might know everything, but not understand anything. Is that in the direction of what you're saying? Right. Well, there you're saying he has, he doesn't perhaps know anything, everything, but he has knowing. It's almost a trust thing, isn't it? It's like a surrender to not knowing brings a certain sense of certainty. Exactly. Right? The mystics are the first, it seems to me, the first to say that it's all a mystery. Yes. And a sacred, enormous mystery. But they're certain in where they sit. There's a certainty. There's not, there's not a doubt. There's not a... There's not an, uh, any arrogance with it or any need to be on top of the subject, but just to relax into the certainty of trust, in a sense. Yes, it's, it's true. It's a state of being rather than a condition of thought that uh, to be part or to be aware that the biggest mystery is myself. And the universe is, a, is unknown, uh, and w it, it's often said, which always used to puzzle me as a, when I was growing up studying philosophy, I would hear people say, we, we live in a world of appearances. We don't really know the reality of behind the appearances. And mm. be the world is a lot, appears in a certain way, but what would it be? What is it really in itself without our seeing it? With, if we weren't here, you know, this is mm -hmm. so. This I, I said, the world is appearances, but I would go like that. This seems so real. To me. To, but they would keep saying, especially the mystics, you know, it's all we're seeing a world of appearances. And I, I only began to understand what that could mean when I recognized that I myself am an appearance to myself, and I don't know what. If I were in touch with what is behind my own appearances, I might be able to see what is behind the appearances of nature. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It means that there's a certain kind of knowing that is uh, maybe reachable, but not in our ordinary state of being.